All right, this is a video on a 4.3 liter V6 uh, GM engine in a marine application. Um, what I'm about to do is prime the oil system. I've already put four quarts of uh, four quarts of peak 10W40 oil in this motor, and uh, it holds about four and a half five. It, I'll top it off once it, uh, it's running and fills up the oil filter. But anyway, um, so what I do is I take an old uh, take a dummy distributor or an old distributor I have with gear off of it. And I drop it into the distributor hole, and I me uh, me wait till it uh, meshes up with the oil pump, and then uh, I put a mechanical gauge inside the block over here in this oil pressure tap, and I just spin the, spin it by hand. Obviously, I've done this a little bit and built up the pressure, but it doesn't take much. You can rotate it by hand and build up 40 psi pressure. So it won't build it won't build up the pressure if you have any any openings anywhere so that lets you know that everything's sealed up when you build up 40 psi but um this gauge is temporary i'll take it back out before i put the exhaust on it but um, i use that just to show that i'm building uh, oil pressure so it lets me know the oil filter's been filled up the uh, all the oil passages in the block are filled up and uh the engine's ready to go ready to fire up with oil in it so that's how you prime an oil, uh, that's how I prime the oil system. If you don't have a uh, old distributor, you can take your distributor in your engine and uh, drive out the roll pin to take the gear off. You can't turn it with the gear on it because it'll mesh with the, the you know, cam you won't be able to turn it. So take the gear off. Uh, by the way, make sure you have the uh, gear oriented on the shaft so you put it back in the same spot. It, it'll go in 180 degrees over, but it, don't, it should only go back on one way. Um, you'll be off of half a tooth if you don't do that right. So anyway, you can take the distributor, take the gear off, put the distributor down in, engage with the oil pump, and spin it by hand, get the same thing done. So they make uh, professional oil priming kits for these engines, but you can get by without it. I always do. So that's how you prime an engine, and this is already primed and ready to go. So the next step is to uh, install the distributor, and I'll do a separate video on that.